Now this is something a little bit different for me anyway, having on this channel. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load. And yeah, this thing's pretty accurate, believe it or not. This is the Anschutz 9015 Match Air Rifle. PCP or pre-charged pneumatic. This one is in 177 and well, pretty nice, don't you think? Let me read out some specs. Uh, this is basically off uh, Anschutz's website. There's a lot of specs with this because, you know, it is, it's a match rifle. There's a lot going on here. There's quite a bit going on. So bear with me. I will put uh, all these specs in the details down below in the video, but I'll just read out some of them. So the total length is between 100 and 107 and 110 centimeters. Total weight is 4.4 kilograms, 4.5 millimeter or 177. Length of twist or the twist rate of the barrel, because guys, I want to know this, because if they're into their mat shooting, then you know you, you, you're going to want to know. Uh, 480 millimeters. The number of grooves in the rifling is 12. Barrel length is 420 millimeters. Length of aiming. Ooh, that's a new one that I've not sort of uh, come across before. This is a match rifle. You know, it's not one that you're going to throw a scope on. So the length of aiming is obviously between there and the front sight. That is between 620 and 897 millimeters. Muzzle diameter is 22 millimeters. It has a safety catch. Length of barreled action is between 734 millimeters and 844 millimeters. Weight, I think we've covered that. Uh, two stage trigger, uh, and, and it's a 5065 4K trigger. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm just skimming through some of the, God, there's loads. Trigger weight, 100 grams. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to get too bogged down with all the, um, I'll put it all in the details. Like I say, I'll put it all in the details. Anything I miss. And you know what? I'm sure to miss something. It'll be in the, the details of the video. So a match rifle, not something you really see on this channel, but I thought, do you know what? Why not? Let's just throw it in the mix. Now, this thing looks really, really cool. It's got the diopter sights. Well, that's your front one anyway. There, look. That can be adjusted along this rail, wherever you want it, pretty much. So can this shroud, so you can adjust that. There's grub screws in the bottom, and then if you can look closely at the bottom of the barrel, you can sort of move that up and down. There is your manometer as well. This is your cylinder. It looks absolutely stunning uh, in this sort of polished aluminium finish. A gorgeous, gorgeous stainless steel finished barrel. That is so nice, so nice. Laminate stock, blue, black, and sort of like a creamy colored laminate finished stock, well, a laminate stock, really nice. Your Anschutz rail as you'd expect on an Anschutz rifle. Side lever cocking. There is your other sight, so your rear diopter sight. What I did find weird, and you know, you guys that sort of shoot 10 meter or shoot um, bell targets, that sort of stuff, because that is predominantly what this rifle is for. I found it a bit odd, right? You guys won't, but I found it a little bit odd when I was adjusting these sights, they're almost like the opposite to like a conventional scope. So I was adjusting right and it was moving right rather than the opposite way round. Or I may have got that confused. Oh, whatever, it's just confusing anyway. It was, it was, it seemed different to a conventional scope. But hey ho, that's just me. No, I'm not very good. At shooting through these type of sights, okay? Uh, especially standing up as well. Now, what I will say is, years ago, I did do mat rifle. I did six yard mat rifle and six yard match pistol. 
back in the day, I've got no pictures or anything to sort of show. I was like 14, 13, 14 years old when I was doing that. So I've got a little bit, and I was seriously into it as well. And I had, a, you know, I've got a few competitions under my belt. And I really enjoyed it. And I was mainly pistol, to be fair. I had a bit of a go at rifle, um, but mainly pistol. But, but like I say, every now and again, I'd have a double um, on the rifle. But that was just six yards, that was. Did a bit of 10 meter as well. But back then, um, there were nothing like this. The rifles were nothing like this. But as you can see in the footage, me having a bit of a go, obviously I've not got all the gear to wear, you know, all the leather bondage that you match shooters wear. No offense, well, that's what I call it. I don't know, I just, I had a go, but in the end I was shooting this off a rest, as you can see in the footage. And no, I didn't, for, for my testing, um, die up to sights aren't great. I'm going to show you the target. We'll jump straight into actually. Now, obviously, this thing is laser beam accurate. It's There's just no doubt about it. But bear in mind, I'm behind the trigger. Different sights that are what I'm used to using. And I even, I even shot a proper small ball target. How good is that? But that was uh, my zero once I finally sort of got it sort of thereabouts. And then I was just doing three shot groups. Now the groups are excellent, okay? This is a little bit further than what you'd use this rifle for, I'm guessing. Um, so this was 20 yards I was shooting this at, off a rest. Not even gonna show you my targets when I was standing up, uh, no. Uh, I just ain't gonna. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, excellent groups. I mean, I weren't even using massively decent pellets. I was just using these Velocipel uh, flathead pellets. These were like the only uh, flathead pellet, wad cutter pellets I had got really to hand um, in this caliber. And I mean, they were doing all right. They were grouping all right. I mean, look at that, you know. Like I say, it's a different rifle to what you are used to seeing here on this channel. So I'm not massively, I've got, like I say, I've got a bit of experience shooting um, these types of rifles, mainly pistol though, to be fair. But, you know, I'm throwing it out in a, in a rack and load review. So just for you guys, just for something a little bit different. Now, side lever cocking, okay? It's absolutely stunning to cock. It just feels glorious when you cock this thing. It's so, so nice. Nice. It's effortless. It's just amazing. There is obviously where you put the pellet straight in the barrel, okay? Uh, I'm sure there is some, in the box, I probably forgot to install it. I'm sure there is some sort of loading tray or something, unless I'm totally mistaken, which wouldn't be the first time. We've got this cock now, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just sort of show you a little bit closer like that. Just a stunning, stunning rifle. I mean, like I say, it's not really my thing, but I enjoyed sort of testing this. And, you know, I was testing it in my sort of way. <laughs> Is that good or bad, guys? I don't know. Um, adjustable stock there, you know, it, the, the the detail in this rifle is just outstanding. It's it's just stunning. I mean, you guys that are into your serious competition target shooting, what's better than an Anschutz? You know, what what is better? N nothing comes close, does it? I don't think. Nothing comes close, apart from maybe the... Oh, I can never say it. The fine work valves. I don't know how you say that. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. But it, they're specialist, specialist guns at the end of the day. Specialist guns. Fully adjustable trigger. You yeah. know, and oh God, it was like, you only had to think about pulling the trigger and it and it fired. Let's give it a pull just for, just for giggles. Just see, my gauge is probably not even calibrated to actually go, go that low to, um, to acknowledge this trigger. Let's, oh God, that actually made me jump. Oh my God. 4.7 ounces. I, I think that probably would be even lower than that because I actually pulled that a bit hard. 
That is ridiculous. Yeah, 4.7. Now that is consistent. Wow, that trigger. Amazing. But no, guys, just throwing something different. I know I've probably missed a ton of info out on this uh, rifle, but like I say, I'll throw in a link uh, or throw all the details down the bottom. What is interesting, uh, which I've found unusual, is you have to unscrew the cylinder, take the cylinder off to fill it up, uh, and you sort of literally attach it on the side of your bottle so the cylinder's sticking out, there's no sort of whip or anything. Really, yeah. Uh, oh, so I thought, <laughs> like I said, new to these rifles, guys, but yeah, it was interesting how you fill the cylinder direct rather than having an actual um, filler port on it. I don't know whether, I don't know, if, if this was a normal sort of air rifle, I'd be like, oh, I don't like that. But with it being what it is, I guess, I don't know what the reason is for that. Guys, you match shooters, I'd love you to comment and, you know, throw some light on some of this, on the bits that I've missed out, um, you know, and really uh, throw some, a bit more detail in there, why you would, why you would opt for that sort of option of taking the cylinder out every time you want to fill it up. But I'm guessing you get a ton of shots out of that. With this being a single shot, it's going to last ages. I mean, I put quite a few shots through it. I lost count to be fair. I bet you I put, I, realistically, I bet you I put 80, 100 shots through this, you know, and it's barely, barely moved the needle on the fuel gauge. So, but, but yeah, a very interesting rifle. Like I said, I'm totally, this is something totally different to what put in on the channel so and it's nice to throw something a little different out there let me show you the box now you get you get a load of bits and pieces with this rifle as you'd expect the sights don't come fitted okay so you get a lovely box with Anschutz's uh, logo on there let me just move that over there oh, I've got stuff everywhere let's move that let's move that so in the box you get, oh, without knocking everything over, you get an, a quality control uh, card, which is really nice. Look at that. Now that's a group. Uh, mine weren't quite like that, as you can see. Yeah, all right, all right. Calm down. Mine were, you know, mine were ish, as you can see. Um, and then you get this box of bits in here. You get uh, like a um, warning card, do's and don'ts thing. Checkbook, a checkbook, that's interesting. So it's like a, a service book. God, it's like having a car, this thing is. So you write the owner in and then it's a log book of how many services you've had. What's this thing like, need to change the oil in it or what? Um, so that is like your service manual, which is interesting. There's not like, I haven't found a manual that you basically, you know, tells you how to shoot it and all that sort of stuff. You get Anschutz um, lubricants in here. Uh, you get loads of Allen keys. Okay, you get your filler thingy bob, uh, another one, another one there. Loads of packets of like little shims and tools and rails. Um, don't know what that is. Some spare uh, seals there. What's this here? Uh, oh, that's the key to the lock, to the case as well. So, nice little toolkit is here that you that you keep with your keep with your gun with all your all your bits and pieces in. So that's nice. 
that's nice. Nothing else in here that I can see. So no sort of real uh, manual, so to speak, just pretty much, you know, I guess it. I guess it's self-explanatory. I mean, you guys that shoot these, uh, these high-end target rifles, I don't think need telling, you know, where the trigger is and where you've got to point it and stuff like that. <laughs> Let's show you the other side of this. Oh. There's your safety catch as well. So a manual safety catch. Just a, a lovely, lovely rifle. Very, very nice. I love the stock on it. I love the look of it. I'm going to throw a few more Anschutz rifles on the table. I know um, it will just be, you know, it'll just be quite interesting to throw out something a little bit different. But there you go, guys. Just something in thrown in the mix just to, you know, keep things interesting. Well, hopefully I'll keep things interesting anyway. But um, something a little different, you know. Um, I've not shot a rifle like, well, of this type for many, many years. Uh, and it was quite interesting uh, shooting it, but very nice. I mean, like I said, does it come more accurate than Anschutz? I don't think it does. I really do not think it does, but wow, what a stunning rifle. I, I think I need a, I think I need to get back into a bit of match shooting, but I don't know. Um, it's, it's certainly interesting, especially, especially air gun wise. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Just a bit of a different video. Like I said, something different. Let me know in the comments what you think. You guys that shoot these types of rifles, enlighten me in the comments. Throw in some more info for other people that watch this. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed. I'll see you on the next one. That's Rack and Load. See ya.